mouth. It's me, Crowley. Are you fucking serious, man? Where the hell are your five videos? Those are what got your partner, man. You need those. That's your foundation. That's your foundation, man. And you re-upload them. As soon as you can, get them up. Also, you know what I'm gonna say? It's time. It's time for the Iron Man. Hello and welcome to One Above Zero, my hardcore Iron Man progression series. On the screen now you'll see some of the things that we achieved along the way up until this point, including a Tome of Fire, a Phoenix Pet from the Winter Todd, which was completely unexpected, and along the way we did manage to pull a second Tome of Fire. Alongside the full Pyromancer outfit, these were definitely worthy of recapping in the remaster. And this pretty much concluded episodes 1 and 2 of 1 Above Zero. Here now are some bits of the finale cinematography that I shot for this episode. It was one of my proudest episodes on the channel and I must say that I am forever going to miss it being on the channel. May this one's legacy live on forever in my computer files. Rest in peace. Episode 3 was definitely a banger. We managed to complete Dragon Slayer 1, chopping off Elvarg's head, and somehow putting it inside of our pocket. Uh, but that's that discussion's for another day. But yeah, anyways, Dragon Slayer 1 completed. We also completed Animal Magnetism. And we also put together this super awesome animation as well for my upcoming Underground Pass completion. And the whole episode was based around Underground Pass. And there we go, we completed it. We then went on to complete Monkey Madness 1 and do Darrow's training for a bunch of XP. And that's pretty much where we left off. So without further ado, let's get into episode 6 of 1 Above Zero. Thank you all so much for watching. It has been a long time coming. Welcome back to the series, everybody. Now, I know what you're thinking. Mouse, we never knew you did a hardcore Iron Man series. Well... Only a select few of the channel actually know about it, and that's because I had to delete a lot of videos from the series because they had copyright in them. But, nevertheless, I have shit figured out now. And as you can see, we are here at Berthorp to get a few things, actually. Green Dehyde Chaps from this fellow, and my Dragon Defender. But first, let's get these Green Dehyde Chaps. Hey, there they are. Green Dehyde Chaps. That's going to be a huge upgrade from the studded leather chaps that I have on right now. So, super excited about that. And you know, the funny part about that was, is that I never knew that that was even a thing. Getting, uh, Green Dehyde Chaps from the Warrior Guide. Guard? Guard? Warrior? Wait, guard? I guess I was wrong. It's an archer. But when it comes to confusion in this series, expect a lot more. Because, as I said before... I've never really invested my time into Iron Man mode, so I'm learning new things every single day. So now I'm actually killing guards, not archers, because the wiki told me that in order to get a Dragon Defender, I need to have a full helm, play body, and plate legs of any armor type. Then we need to resurrect them, then we need to kill it to get tokens, in, able to, in order to kill Cyclops, in order to get defenders, in order to be having access to the Dragon Defender. It's a long fucking process, but the point is, I'm here to get those pieces, and these ones drop mithril pieces. Hey, look at that, mithril plate body. It's only been about 20 minutes, so I'd say it's pretty good. Myth mithril plate body again? I see, I see. Wait, no, are we really gonna go dry on mithril plate legs? Alright. Bro, come on. <laughs> yeah, boy. And Mithril Plate Body number 5. <laughs> hey, 56 defense on the account, and don't mind the layout, I'm doing things on the main. The plus side to having all these Mithril Plate Bodies is that we do have a lot of alkables, which means a lot of raw GP on the account, so... Hey, you know, you give a little, you get a little. It's kind of that 
kind of that type of thing. I, I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. Let's just keep killing these things. Made a little pit stop over to the rune shop here in Al Karid. It is definitely my favorite spot because they sell pretty much every rune that I need until I can find out a better way to get them. And if you know a better way to get them, let me know in the comments down below. So I was looking up better methods to obtaining the Dragon Defender. And while most methods say that the meta is the Mithril way, I just feel like I've been here forever. Like, actually, I've been killing those guards forever. So... I'm going to be taking the adamant way. I know it's probably less efficient, but, you know, bite me, you know? Anyways, so we're here in the Champions Guild, picking up an adamant plate body, and this is what we're going to use to resurrect the Legends Guild, I believe it's called. That That's the Legends Guild, right? I don't know, there's a lot of guilds. Now we are finally starting the grind to a Dragon Defender, and, uh, yeah, these things hit pretty hard, so... I don't know if I'm going to be flicking the prayer the whole time, but... I guess whenever I do have prayer points, I'll flick it. Otherwise, I'll just pay close attention and uh, eat when I need to. Each tier of these animated armors drop a different amount of tokens as a reward of saying, hey, you killed a higher tier one like Rune, we're gonna give you more tokens. Mine specifically drop about 30 each kill, which kind of makes up for the fact that it takes a little longer to kill it. Uh, however, I know that people say that the Mithril is meta because of the ratio to tokens that it drops per time that you kill it, but it, it's a video game, and uh, you know what? We're having fun, and I'm content with it. It's really not too slow for me, so you should always do what is best for you. And if that means killing adamant animated armor, then you should do that. And that is the beauty of Old School RuneScape. And when you get whatever desired amount of tokens you want, you must have a minimum of 100, you can bring them to the top floor and begin killing these Cyclops, which then drop certain tiers of defenders, bronze all the way up to rune. Once you get the rune one, you have to go down to the basement to kill the ones for the dragon defender. Now, I'm sure if you play RuneScape a lot, you already know how this works, but for any new people, this is uh, what you can expect. Here's a cool little level. Level 57 magic. I needed some food for this grind, so I'm here catching some lobsters. And I know I could do Temporos, but this is just more AFK. I'll definitely be grinding out Temporos in future videos because for other grinds, I would like a little bit more of a bulk selection of food. Uh, but until then, these lobsters will do. To this day, this is the way that I cook food that is not Karam ones. Uh, of course, when I'm not AFK, uh, it's just much faster. I did have to step away from my computer for a little bit, so in the case that your animated warrior disappears, you can talk to this gentleman here, and you will get your armor back. And that was a relief, especially on an iron. Oh, shit. Look at that. Bronze Defender, the first of many. And the best part about this is, is while it's not much, it still does give me better bonuses than the shield. Everything must pause for the sandwich lady. Mm -mm -mm, never lucky. Every so often, they drop these Renar weeds, the Cyclops that is, and I will definitely be using that in the future. So more of those, and I'm happy. Hey, another Renar weed. Look at that. Oh, it's going to be so nice stacking these up was cleaning these up and I got 34 herb lore. Nice. Oh my god, Iron Defender. Yes, dude. Oh dude, it's been like two or three hours, bro. Oh yes, dude. I can finally, finally upgrade. And here we get 63 hit points, a level that hardcore is a love. Wait. What? No way, dude. Almost back to back, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rewarded for our efforts. Let's go. Steel Defender, baby. Steel Defender. Ooh, Black Defender. Let's go. We only killed about 50 more, so... Hey, you know what? I'll take it. 50 more Cyclops. I think the rate here is like 1 in 75, so... That was pretty good. Not gonna lie. Another upgrade, and uh, we're just gonna go right back in. Hey, 66 strength. One thing I was wondering on this grind was who in the game has the fastest 
achieved Dragon Defender. I'm really curious. If you or anyone you know has gotten a Dragon Defender in record time, let me know down below because I'd really be uh, intrigued to figure that out. I think on my main, I it only took me like five hours or something like that. But yeah. For anyone who's ever grinded RuneScape for an extended period of time, you know that this game, well, it's a time game. And it's a good thing to break up the monotony once in a while, so I decided to do some AFK fletching while I did some PVM on the main account. And here we're about to get 65 fletching. But we do have a Dragon Defender to get, so we're back at it, and we did pick ourselves up this Mithril Defender. I'm super excited about this one because this is kind of like, we're kind of in the uh, the second half of the grind here in terms of getting to the Rune Defender, so I will definitely take that, and the only thing to do is to keep pushing. We got 67 strength and 78 to combat. That is super nice because we only get stronger. <gasps> no way! Oh, it happened, dude. Oh, the Adamant Defender. We've been here for like two hours, dude. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> oh, yes. Once again, breaking up the monotony with 60 agility. Observe the irony in this next clip. We get the Rune Defender here, right? But check out my chat. I was just talking about how I didn't have it. And now, we're down here to get the Dragon Defender. I actually just got baited by a fucking long bone, bro. I'm pissed. But hey, that's okay, because we got 68 strength. A rune full helm? Wait, these things drop rune full helms? No way, dude. If you're wondering why I'm freaking out about a rune full helm, is that that's literally money. It's literally pure money i'm just so excited about that like 20k for me as an early man iron man an, er an early man wait can we try it again an early game iron man it actually just goes so hard because well one i don't really know how to play iron man mode so any bit of money is gonna help but two i mean who doesn't want 20k on an iron unfortunately we have run out of tokens so it is now time to get some more Oh, I got it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We're free. We're free. We're free. We're free. We got the Dragon Defender, boys. Let's go. I can't even wear it, bro. I need 60 defense, bro. Oh, dude. Let's fucking go, dude. So in the last clip, you saw we got the Dragon Defender. It was about 7 a.m., so I was really tired still. I had to work that day. Uh, but I'd say all in all, the grind really wasn't too bad. It took me about 13 hours in total, and we did get some good alkables, so it's a win-win. 233k raw cash from that. I'll take that any day. was doing Client of Karend and found a Shooting Star. My first Shooting Star on the account. And unfortunately, I can't even mind the whole thing because my lunch break is over. And there is Client of Karen completed. One quest point, two antique lamps, a favor certificate, and a Karen's memoirs. 117 quest points. And now the next grind is to get 70 defense. One, so we can hold the Dragon Defender. And two, so that we can eventually get to the Barrows Brothers. But before that, I would like to get Barrow's Gloves. So I'm thinking for the next episode to do a bunch of questing. Because I need climbing boots and I need a few other things in order to uh, make these upgrades so that I can become stronger. The Dragon Defender is definitely going to help with that, but we definitely still need more things. And there's 58 defense and 79 combat level. And alongside that, we managed to pour ourselves 65 hit points. And we got 59 defense. I missed level 60, but there is 61 and 80 combat. All right, I just logged back in here to get 62. I realized that I AFK'd and didn't have it. But um, here it is, 62 defense. Now, I am going to be ending the episode there. I'm getting a bit tired. So I'm going to be going to bed. But in the next episode, expect us to achieve 
70 defense, and hopefully be getting ourselves to the Barrows grind. I do want to get my hands on a set of Mystics as well, and charge up my Ibn Staff. But if we can't get the Barrows first, I do want to start working towards the Barrows gloves, but uh, we're just going to have to see what happens. Like I said, I am newer to Iron Man mode, so let me know what you think my path should be in the comments down below. I do read all of the comments, so I will see your comment. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode of One Above Zero. I want to thank everyone for all the immense support on the channel recently, and um, we'll see you guys very soon. Good night, everybody, and take care.